two local Latino women, their love and passion for baking started in their home country of Mexico. Now, those same recipes are creating a legacy at San Miguel Bakery in Paso Robles. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz has their story. In operation for 19 years, San Miguel Bakery has made a name for itself in the community, keeping their Mexican heritage and traditions alive through food. As part of our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, I was able to speak to the owners about their journey. Meet Rosy and Carmen, two sisters from Guerrero, Mexico, with one goal, to open a bakery in the United States. Carmen and Rosy came from a long family line of bakers. Since we were little girls, we used to play and pretend to make bread and cakes out of mud. Their dreams became a reality 19 years ago, starting in San Miguel and later relocating to Paso Robles, where their business started to grow. So whenever we come here, we usually just buy like tamales, the... Um, salsa verde, the conchas, the leras. The day at San Miguel Bakery starts at 3 a.m., hand making all of the pastries for the day. The owners say they bake around 1,800 pieces of pan dulce or sweet bread. The hot ticket item, conchas, a sweet bread made with flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and water, and known for their round shape and striped seashell-like look. Well, this bakery, we heard about it like once like it, like it originally opened up, so like uh, years back, and, like ever since then, like we. We started coming here. The food and pastries sold in the bakery allow their Mexican culture to come alive. In reality, it is really important for us to maintain our Hispanic traditions because we're Mexican and it's always beautiful to be able to keep up our traditions. Rosy and Carmen say getting to where they are now wasn't easy, but they have a message for anyone pursuing their dreams. You can do it. There's no better way to celebrate our culture than through food. If you want to enjoy some of these pastries, San Miguel Bakery is located in Paso Robles and open seven days a week from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. In the studio, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News.